As Unity Park gets closer to construction, Greenville's asking for more public input on the neighborhood that surrounds the park. Tonight, the community had the chance to drop in, see the proposed zoning changes for the area, and give their feedback. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell was there. She's standing by live with more on that. Hello, Ann. Hello, Gordon. Unity Park will be about 60 acres, but the proposed zoning ordinances we got a look at tonight would cover about 360 acres in and around the park. Tonight, people had the chance to tell city leaders what they want that neighborhood to look like. Site preparation is underway for Unity Park, but before construction gets started in January, the city is trying to nail down the zoning ordinances for the area. We came out to see what the plan looks like and how far we've, along we've come. The Unity Park Character District encompasses the area between West Washington Street and the Norfolk Southern Rail Line, as well as the area between the Greenville Sanitation Facility and downtown. With a multi-million dollar park coming to the neighborhood, property values are expected to skyrocket, according to the president of the Greenville Housing Fund. But the city is trying to guard against gentrification by partnering with the Greenville Housing Fund to build affordable units on about eight acres as part of the park. I just want to know about low income housing. Well, that's the whole point is to provide a range of affordable options so we can be as inclusive as possible across the income spectrum. City leaders are looking to build townhouses or other similarly dense units to provide affordable housing. One woman interested in living there says that's a concern for her. That is a big concern to me, is to be able to shop near where you live and to have elevators, especially if you're going to cater to any senior citizens. The proposed zoning guidelines for Unity Park neighborhood are set to go before City Council for a vote in November. And we'll post a link to the draft of those proposed zoning ordinances on our website, WSPA.com. Gordon. All right, Ann, thanks. You can tell it's an important issue when that many people show up to a meeting about zoning. There's a drop-in meeting about the park and the surrounding neighborhood again tomorrow. It's at Greenville Water from 530 to 730. Now an update.